Hi guys. Uh, today I'm working on my holiday nails. Um, next we're going to be creating a fun little snowman. The brushes that I'm using are from my local craft store, beauty supply, or from online. I'm going to be using water-based acrylics from my local craft store. Any brand is fine. Whatever you have available will do. So basically he's going to be a cute chubby little snowman on the side of the nail. You'll have to excuse um, my nail design. If it's not all that perfect, I'm working upside down and it's a little hard for me today. So we have nice chubby little tummy. Now I'm going to be letting this set up and giving it a little bit more dimension because it's right now it's a little see-through. Normally you'd be doing 10 nails or at least two and it gives you time to let your paint dry in between. I'm working on these um, nail forms. A little hard on this wheel because I'm knocking into the adjoining nails. So I'm gonna let that set up for a minute so I can come back and make it a little bit darker so you don't see any streaks in there. And if you see these other designs that I've created I've made videos for all of them and you can just go to my channel and watch them. So that way you could have tons of different designs on your nails or have a variety for your clients or for yourself. So let me let that sit up and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I think that's set up enough for right now. Now I'm going to create his hat. For that I'm using black. Just creating a little brim. I don't want a perfect shaped hat. I want it to look like it's old and it's worn. Now I'm going to come in with my daughter and I'm going to start creating the rest of his face. Let's have some fun eyes. And with the smaller side of my daughter, I'm going to make a fun smile. I'm going to make him really happy. Now I'm going to create his buttons.
dots don't have to be perfect because they're simulating stones or coal. Now with my orange, I'm going to create a carrot nose. I'm going to turn him around just so that I can get it in the right position, but you'll see. Next, I'm going to go into my red. And create a scar for him. Again, I'm going to turn it around just because he's not at an angle where I can get his scarf going as if it's blowing in the air. And get a little bit on his belly. I'm going back into my daughter with, with the black and try and make his smile <clears throat> a little bit better. Now I'd like to use, uh, I think, a little bit of neon green. To create the headband on his hat. I'm going to throw a little bit of white in here first. Throw in a little white just so that the green can pop a little bit more. Maybe I should use blue so that way the greens don't blend into each other. Now for his scarf, we could throw a little bit of yellow stripes in there if you'd like for fun. Or you can make polka dots, whatever you'd like to see on your scarf, or maybe even create one that looks like yours. Just have fun with them. Again, 
throwing little snowflakes. If you have glitters, or doesn't glitters or anything, you can come in and um, draw that in. If you have pretty rhinestones in black, you could do that for his his dots for his um, buttons or pretty little rhinestones that twinkle for his eyes in black. This is just my rendition. Just to give you a, a foundation a bit of glimmer in his eyes. I'm going to go back in and see if I can make his camera a little bit darker. And there you have it. A little snowman. Where did he go? There you go. Now, of course, all of this gets top coated with a clear top coat when we're done, making them pop out more and look even prettier. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and you try and recreate them on your nails, on your friends and your customers. And if you'd like to see more renditions of my nail work for the holidays, you can find it on my uh, Facebook fan page, which is Nail Expressions. So remember to subscribe, vote, rate rather, and leave questions and comments and share with your friends. And let me know what you think. Thank you.